this Sonic Gardens team. Eric Edwards is between the sticks as per usual. Philando Wing, Rashawn, Amos, Joel Cunningham and DeAndre Cunningham, the back four in the middle of the park. Marlon Martin and new acquisition Jamon Shepard from Harbour View. Jaheim Thomas is the attacking midfielder. Rashika Kelson on the left, Shea Smith on the right and Kimani Arboin will be playing through the middle. As far as Dunby Holden is concerned, the former Anagans, big man between the sticks, Damian Hyatt, and they have a back four inclusive of the captain, Ricardo Thomas, Odeen Samuels, Zakia Wilkes, and Chevoy Watkin in the middle of the park, Saniki Burton, Shaquin Powell, Dwayne Smith, and up top for Dunby Holden, Stephen Barnett on the left, Rowan Brown on the right, Dean Andre Thomas through the middle. But again, at the end of the 90, a truce is called. And I suspect that if they played another 90, we wouldn't have seen any goals here. But it's the first game of the season for both of these teams. And they would want to get better, especially with their performance in the attacking third. But they share the points after 90 here at the Anthony Sporting Sports Complex. As we take a look at the full-time highlights, ball played inside was a dangerous play made by Arnett Gardens. And uh, it was a lovely ball that was slipped through there. And uh, Martin with the initial attempt and then Kelson with the shot that went across the face of goal. Yeah. Don't be holding really lived on the edge in this first half and there's a shot from the edge of the box found Hyatt and then lovely movement by Kimani Arboin but couldn't finish from there what a big chance that was but it went to begging then don't be holding on a, a couple of chances there but Arne Gardens with clear-cut opportunities Shepard reworking it, heading to the byline, and then the touch coming across. And uh, this header from Cunningham straight to Damian Hyatt. He was all over the park, Cunningham. And Blackwood's effort didn't miss by much. Over the top there. And that was the end of that for this game. As we take a look at the full-time statistics, Arne Gans with 14 shots, 5 on target, Dunby Holden. They didn't register a shot on target today. 22 fouls committed in this one, Arnett, uh, with most of them. A couple of other cards beside their name as well. And you can see that the corner kicks were three apiece. And uh, the majority of the possession, 54%. performance for you today obviously a clean sheet which is where we would want to start with the captain's armband as well considering there have been so many changes in this team how do you feel about the performance and yours as well well i think we had a good team performance even given the changes from last year i think we just want to be more clinical in the box and we'll get our wins how important is your leadership and how how critical is that for Anik Gans to do well this season well i think it's not just me i think across the board we have players that can lead i think um marlon martin I think up top we do have um, Kimani and Arbor and everybody's playing well and everybody's leading along the line. So I think we continue with that. We'll perform well throughout the season. From the commentary box, we are really impressed with your passing from the back line. I notice you have fine-tuned that a bit. Not off the mark with any. Is it a, is it a case where just in the back line you're able to see the field big and, and be able to vision all of the options available? I mean, yeah, I know that even from the grass to stage, they'll encourage you to scan a lot in the game. So. Once I know that I have enough space, I'll look for the passes and it'll be simple for me. Keep working at your game, Joel. We look forward to seeing you as the season goes on. Thank you very much. Joel Cunningham there, captain of the Arnett Gardens team and man of the match in his performance today. Arnett Gardens, of course, picking up a draw here at home.
Coach, talk to me about the performance. Assess the performance of Arnett Garden so far this evening. I thought it was a game of two halves. Um, I thought we, 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 we had the better the first half. We created a number of chances and, and, and should have put them away. At this level, I think we should have um, scored about two or three goals in the first half. But nevertheless, um, it's a work in progress. Um, it's a new team, new coaching staff. A lot of things is new. So um, I think we, we only can get better from here. Talk to me, you spoke about many changes and, and so on. Is cohesion an issue? Is it, is, is, it, does, is it going to take time for the chemistry to really get going for Arnett Gardens? Yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to take some time. I, I think these youngsters um, is working hard in training and, and, and they, they, they've been accepting what we've been offering as coaches. And um, it's just time. Time as well. Talk to me about the, the change in partnership up front. Of course, Fabian Reed no longer there. Juma Johnson no longer there. Marlon Allen gone as well. How happy are you with in terms of the link play up front? We know Annette Gardens has a high-scoring team. Is that going to happen this season? Um, it's going to happen because I'm here as well. And um, as I said, it's a, it's a young team, uh, some new players. We, 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 we still have a lot of work to do. It's a very long season. And uh, as I said, it's a work in progress and we, we only can get better from here. Very long season indeed. Keep the team fit, coach. All the best in the season going forward. Thank you very much. From the Annette Gardens camp, of course. Sharing a point with this man. Coach Lenny Hyde. Coach, well in the Premier League, your first game down for Dumble Holding. A fair result at the end of 90 minutes? Yeah, man. Fair result. I think we, we put out a good effort today. I didn't like the first half. I think the second half we came into our own and tried to play some football. Also, the changes that we made made a little difference in the, the team. It was a high-press game from, you know, and it played a high-intensity game. And that shows us off in the first half. But I think gradually we got into the game. I think physically we are OK. As you watch the game, as long as the game went, we were um, taking over the game. But it's a team to build on. And they just have to learn the simple things in the game. You, speak about the, you spoke about the simple things. I agree that certainly physically you matched up well with Arnett Gans. Yeah. Talk to me about the... Maybe the touch side of the game, the technical yeah. side of the game. How happy were you in terms of distribution, and use of the ball, tempo of the game? Not happy at all. We lose the ball one-on-one -on -one situation. We turn over the ball on many occasions. And it's a thing where we have to work on. I think sometimes the occasion and the first game, you know, they are like a cobweb in their feet. So I hope it, the longer the season lasts, I think the better we get. And a clean sheet at the end of the day. Yes, you didn't get anything going forward, but Arnett Gans is a high-scoring team, the highest-scoring team last yeah. season. So the fact that you've got a clean sheet from a defensive perspective mm. must be good. Yeah, that, that, that's a plus for the team tonight. I think everybody defended well, and that's what I ask of them. You know, start from the centre forward, and I think we defended well today. All right, Lenny, bring this beautiful game to the Premier League. We look forward to seeing yeah, Dublin holding yeah, more. Yeah, definitely. All, the best. All right.